full presentation. The problem is to understand it to, to, to make it into reality and also that a lot of um, uh, material is available. Uh, I think you asked about it. There is something called Vicky Glam uh, and um, you can follow and that they have also um, things on uh, uh, Wikipedia and that it's about uploading data for libraries and so on. I will like to track them a little bit more. Uh, but what um, we have uh, is I think I did something good. Here. Uh, no. Here we have it. So here we have a search of the met metadata. And what you see is that you see the My Museums search and it's a search on this David Klöcker Ehrenstrahle and we get four or five places. It's Skog Kloster where you have Gustav Rangler and then you have another place, Drömsholz Palace and so on. So if we look at the query, this is the query uh, and it presented on a map. So we have over in Helsinki we have two places this is some kind of art museum and they have an external link so they don't have a picture and then we have another one over there and then if we go back to Stockholm uh, hopefully we can see two dots and that means that we have two different coordinates so one is Royal Armory Libros Kammer and they have this object. So this is the Wikidata object. And then I have another object here and that is from National, National Museum. Uh, and outside Stockholm we have Drottningholm. And that's Enstral drawing room in Drottningholms castle. Uh, so if we look on this item, so this is the Wikidata item. And uh, this item I was uh, changing yesterday. I'm Selgo, Selgo 60. So what I did, I added some pictures to this item. I added some labels. I added, it's an instance of a room, because this is a room in the castle. And it's part of Drottningholm Palace. And the creator was David Klöcker Ehrenstrahle. So if we look at the item again. This is the Wikidata item. So it's something in Sweden. They have coordinates direct on the item. So this coordinates tells you it's in Drottningholm. And that's the reason we get, get this dot. Creator is because he created this room. And... Then you have the name is P170 and um, Klöcker is his name and he has his own Q 902649 and this is part of Drottingholm Palace instance of room we have twice or no we don't uh, and then we have some images I connected and to this Wikidata data item there is also an article Erenstral Salongen but it's just in Swedish and when you are on a Wikipedia article you can see the Wikidata object here and then you can see at the bottom down there you can see the Q number or the Q number is coming up, up maybe no so then we have him uh, if we go back to the query we look at something else. We can look at this one. So it's the state portrait collection. This is the location and this is the painter and this is the name. So if we look on this item, 
it's this is just text you have an inventory number which means that you can click on this and it's from the National Museum and they have a reference earl so this goes to the museum page and I'll be jumping to National Museum and here we have it so this is I think the original metadata um, we have the creator and we have images connected to it and we also have other identifiers so you they have 3000 identifiers so we looked at this one but this item is also in this European database and ha has its unique number so then we have their closure paintings and so on back to the query what I did here is that my query is written in something called Spark. Uh, and what I say, this is just text, but this is a say telling him, please display this on a map. And that's the reason we get it on a map. If I delete this one, then I get 36 results like columns and then we can see that we have just picture for black cocks at ground this looks like the same item a bad query for me um, and then we have a painting for this Charles 11's family can click on this one maybe yes and we have pictures down here so that means that if we instead of saying display this on a map we can say display this as an image grid and that means that we get images where you have so then you have this school cluster painting you have from the Ehrenstrahls um, room at Drottningholms and here you have other items at the State Gallery. Uh, so what we looked at was Ehrenstrom's room in Drottningholm. If we can look at another picture, this Q number. You can see they have they have created it's nearly the same. This is an instance of a painting instead of a room, and it's part of a collection from National Museum. So what you see here is that this item has no coordinates. But by going to the National Museum collection, we get coordinates here. So it's some object-oriented way of traversing the information and what we can see is that the National Museum is located at this location it's an instance of an art museum and an instance of a national museum and if we look at the National Museum they just have a article in this language uh, So this is the way you create the information uh, by adding properties and updating everyone can do it it's just doing edit and then you change it or you add a new one then you do uh, if we have an image and then you have to select an image that's already uploaded to Wikicommon uh, I have created a lot of uh, queries on my um, uh, blog. Uh, so here, um, here we have uh, people buried at in Gothenburg. 
and uh, here we have the Woodland Cemetery. So what I do here is that I ask for every person who is uh, buried on Skogkyrkogården. And in this query I say please display the picture of the graves. So then we have Greta Garbo. And in this query I say please come back with the uh, coordinates and then we can display it. So here we have Nacka Skoglund, the gold player, and I have a link to the article and we have his number and the name of the gra grave. Uh, see if we can... No, I don't know where Greta Garbo is, but we can click on the picture. Uh, so here is Greta Garbo and then she is Q54 five four four three and this I have added then and telling that this is the name of the location but this is the coordinates if you're doing a good work you also add the reference that's something Wikidata is working with so that you can confirm that this is correct where did you get this information um, we have two images of her we have one image of the grave, that was the one we saw. Uh, they have added, the good thing with this data model is that you can have, this is some kind of awards, 1411, and then you can say that you have one award, another award, third one and so on, but then you can also qualify it. So you have it as point in time for work, subject of, and then they have added here a reference, but that's to the English Wikipedia. The reason I think they was, were building this um, wiki data is that when you have so many languages, this is different languages in Wikipedia, the problem is that it's impossible to maintain. So the concept and idea is that you update it once, the data, if we change her birth date, here, somewhere, date of birth, then that should change up in the Wikipedia. I don't know if it does. But what, this, what it says here is that this information is coming from English Wikipedia, but it's also found in Integrated Authority File. So then that's a good type of fact. Um, so then I think we can check Uh, all things down here is external references. No, it was not. And so then, um, you, I think you have an e movie database e e here. And if I click on that, Greta Garbo, that's Q544, is the same person as NM001256. And this is Greta Garbo. So that's the way the semantic web works. They also have birth date and so on. And then you can start comparing if you have an error or if someone updates and so on. Uh, and Wikipedia, I think, works enormous well. They have problems, but it's updated and changed and so on. It's, it's not an easy task to do a a tool like that. But this is the concept of what we are using, that we find this Ehrenstrahl and then uh, we tag it. So the, uh, what was in the database base uploaded before this weekend was this picture and it was in Wikimedia. So what I did was that I added him here, I think. And uh, 
I added uh, the instance that he was a painting, an image, and it's Carl Gustav uh, Wrangler. But and also I added that he was sitting on a horse. Uh, so here it depicts Carl Gustav Wrangler. So that means that you can traverse to him, and uh, he was the one person was. Uh, living in school cluster where you can find this painting. He, he was a really famous person in Sweden. Maybe we should look at the English one, but here it is. He was born 1613 and was out in a lot of wars. He had a lot of uh, houses, I think. Yes, he had the most land in the Swedish Pommern down in Germany. And this is all the places he was having story I heard, don't know if it's true, is that he has spent just 40 days at Skokloster, which is an uh, enormous big building. Here we have Skokloster. He was born in, at Skokloster. Yeah. So this is the place outside Stockholm. So if I click on this one, we get a dot up there. And that is the dot we see when we search, because this castle has a painting of our painter. Maybe we can look at it. No, oh, it's over there. Uh, but it's enormous big over there it is and inside here we have this famous painting and, and the interesting thing with the painting is that um, he is not the king and on the first painting we had in our application uh, it was a king sitting on a horse and normally it was just king that were um, portrayed on a horse and lesson learned I got is that um, you can this horse is jumping somehow and that's an indication that it's not the king sitting on the horse so the semantic web is our edge i think if i compare with all other articles on the web uh, and the semantic data is here to stay i think uh, a lot of libraries are uploading it's a lot enormous a lot of work and i think uh, People are doing that on their spare time and so on. Uh, so maybe we should start thinking in terms of uh, how can we let people update the metadata in Wikidata or classify it or something like that. Do it in an easy way. Maybe take pictures and so on. Uh, but that's something for the future.